Hello and welcome to another Racky's Tap Room. Looks like it's a strange on the old, um, I'm using StreamYard tonight so I could do a scheduled post. Welcome everyone. So tonight we've got Carling versus Cause versus <clears throat> Rockshaw Irish Lager made by Guinness. I'm, 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 I'm almost sure it's made by Guinness. Next, we have Angelo Peretti, Italian. Um, this is actually stored at my workplace. Good evening, Paul. And everybody else. Right, let me get a calling glass. I've got an Angelo Peretti glass. <clears throat> right, we'll have a Raggy's beer review. We'll have a Raggy's beer review glass. Right. You know when you can't find a glass? Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Guinness. There's the Peretti glass. And the cores can go in the King at Green King IPA. Very well, thank you. Angelo Peretti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know it was a thing. I got to the workplace in, in August last year. And it says Angelo Peretti. And I said to the boss, it says, What's out there, like a rip-off of Bira Moretti? And it says, no, 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 it's actually, it's natural lager. Yeah, I've got a San Miguel glass. Yeah, yeah. Good evening, go Ted. How are you? So I'm going to do a little bit of a, a taste of each. And I need a beer after today. Someone twatted the wife this morning. And uh, so our brand new car that we got, it's not a new car, but our new car, someone went up the arse of it. So... Good evening. The Welshman. Yeah, I'm from Nottingham. Yeah, we do it different in Nottingham. <laughs> so, yeah, I think he's Gebel. Or he's, he's, he's not his lives on the head, hasn't he? Probably, got, probably at the pub, to be fair. So, starting off on the Carling. You reckon Carling wins? Ah. Yeah, yeah, someone hit her this morning. Slurpy, welcome. I just apologise for the noise. Definitely, get that beer flowing. So, crap ball as usual. Never one for doing the good balls. Yeah, so with um, insurance, though, really quick, they've sorted out the the car's gone, gone to Sheffield apparently. Yeah, I wanted something different tonight. On the, this is just for the um, no Warsteiner. No, no. Might do a German lager night at some stage as well. Battle of the Germans. Though. Good evening. You reckon this is the king of lagers? It's interesting. So obviously, like most lagers, it's uh, what I would call a straw or light gold coloured pour, depending on what you, which you know, the way you look at it. Good white head on there. A little bit of carbonation. In a carling glass as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good. I'm not very good at Ed. Fish and chip night for Mrs. Bless you. And thank you for joining. <clears throat> so good morning. So they've given us um, a brand new good evening, mate. Um, they gave us a brand new 21 plate Kia Sportage. So I took a photo of it, put it on my Facebook, said that treated myself to a new car. About 20 people liked it so far. Later on, I'll actually tell them it wasn't, it's not a new car, it's a hired car. But for now, I'll just leave it going. It's, uh, it's all good fun. Sometimes you need a bit of winding up, don't you? A bit of, a bit of banter. So. I'm going to taste each one, see what I think of them. It's been a while, to be fair. 1.2. I'm, I'm not 1.2. I'm, I'm just going to see which is the best. I've already reviewed them countless times. And then I'm going to, I'm going to do the battle. See which one actually tastes best against each other's. And this is weird. You know, sometimes. No, no. My car the other week, five weeks ago, my car got hit. And uh, I'm not sure if it was my fault or not, but to this morning, good evening. 
it definitely wasn't my fault this morning when I got it. Um, my wife's fault, rather. Luckily, she's fine, you know, and um, but I can't believe the bad luck. Darling, it's Carlin. Jamestown, that's you. On Friday, for the next Raggy's Tap, I'm doing a battle of the um, smooths, smooth ales. So I've got John Smith's, Tetley's, and somewhere along the lines, I've got Capri's. So, yeah, a battle of free um, smooth ales. See which one is the best. Supermarket smooth tablets. You'd rather drink Foster's than Carly. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather drink Peroni's Doppia Malta than a lot of them, but uh, I ain't got it tonight, so... If I'd have put Peroni Doppia Malta on, there'd have been no contest. No, no, I was lucky. I got this camp of 50 pence. No, just coming in, the, coming in, having a chat. It's what it's all about, isn't it? You know, just in, enjoying a bit of a chat. That new car was fast as hell. I went down the street tonight with no speed cameras on. Put the foot down. Woof. Like, off a shovel. Yeah. Typical lager malt. What can you say? I mean... Yeah, so we're just doing lagers tonight. I'm doing a battle of the lagers. Carling versus Coors versus Rockshaw, which is new at Tesco's. And also the uh, Angela Peretti. Bishop's finger in a speckled end. 50p. You've robbed my son. <laughs> well, I actually got five. 51 pound 50. So it was basically 30 pence. So 30 pence is too bad. I can. I can, I can go there. One of them, one of them was, um, no, no, I won't. No, no. The wife's driving the loan car. To be fair, they are what they are, you know. It does need all the flavour it can get. Yeah, you are. <laughs> they are what they are, you know. On a hot summer's day, you'd be wanting something like this to chill out and uh, enjoy. Good evening, Dave. How are you? Just to chill out and uh, you know, if you was outside of Paul, but who was not drinking anything else, you've been work all day, having a lager. Good evening. It's what it's what it is. I think. It's nice to have a drink a lot, uh, sometimes at least, especially if it's a decent one. But yeah, a battle of German and battle of Belgian lagers, that could be, good evening, Ali. That could be an interesting uh, raggy sap. Something I've already reviewed, so I have not got to get any review credits. A fruitland, a ghost with passion fruit and guava, sounds nice. Two pints of Abbott Ale. What? Yeah, right. The Mosaic Ops, there was this, was it the Salt or was it Siren? They had their single hop mosaic, didn't they? Good evening. How are you? So. Yeah, I mean, everyone's got what they like and what they don't like. I thought for tonight, I'll just do a lagers. I got four anyway. So I thought I'll do a battle of the lagers just just to see. German wheat bit and mixed with grapefruit bit. It's different. Cheers. So, yeah, nice. Uh, oh, nice to sit down. It's been a long day. It's been a long, long day. Getting phone call that you you, you know you of your daughter that you, you, your your wife's been hit. It's like what? That wasn't the words I said. No. The words were a lot a lot more fruitier. And uh, I mean, not to be fair, there's not a lot of damage to the car, the bumper. But you know, with BMWs, any damage is expensive. French IPA, ah. shopper, shopper hole. Oh. Good evening. Good. 
it looks a lot better than it did the other day. Yeah, yeah, someone hit me wife this morning in, in, in the new car. It's like, I won't laugh in this morning, man. Um, but insurance is sorting it all out. It's not going to cost us anything. It's not going to affect our insurance. So that's good. See, I'm looking at well, I'm looking at grain kits, you know. Um, Love Brewing's got a, uh, their, I think it's called Steamworks or something along. Spirit Works, maybe. No, not Spirit Works, not that. Steamworks. Yeah, she's gonna have some. She's gonna have some uh, wine tonight, and she don't normally drink. She needs. She needs a drop of alcohol tonight. Um, but yeah, yeah, she was under. The, if if you know Junction Twenty Six of the M One, where you go to IKEA, she's under there, and some twat comes round straight in the back. Yeah, she's fine. Yeah, there. Luckily, it won't too. He obviously won't go in too much. But he, he obviously wasn't paying attention. Whether he saw a gap and he thought she had gone and he went into the... You know, these things happen, I suppose, don't they? Just got to the back of the car. We haven't had it long. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she's all good. Yeah, a bit shook up as you would be. And tonight she's had to drive the higher car tonight. And I've already drove it. So I can get in any car and drive. Um... You know, 20 years of driving, you get used to it. Through mine, yeah, through my night. Um, but, um, yeah, tonight, it's, uh, it, she struggled a little bit, but uh, she'll be all right. One good thing with new cars, lots of parking sensors and all that, the camera's on the back. So half of it's done for you. And it's as nippy as the car. No, no. Never put football stickers in cars. You, all you need is some idiot who's had who's had too much to drink. Come by, oh, Forest, oh, Derby, bang, window's gone. Not worth the hassle. Not worth the hassle at all. So yeah, calling. It was multi. To be honest, I'm being honest. Yeah, tank would be good. He just take everybody out. I don't know if it's the news these days. But um, it does seem that there's more stuff going off in the wheel. Uh, I, obviously, I live in Nottingham. Just on that, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I live in Nottingham, and uh, there's a lot more cases of stuff happening. And you think to yourself, what's going off in the wheel? Is it the fact that the, the local news cat posters have got nothing else better to do than post every daft little thing happening? Or is the wheel getting nuttier? And... Uh, I mean, stabbings and all this. Why everyone's carrying knives around, I don't know. Luckily, I carry a spade at work, so if someone came up with a groove of a knife, it wouldn't end well. Uh, I'm, I'm a ninja with a spade. <laughs> anyway, on with the cause. Only drinking off, um, just to get a bit of a... Yeah. I, I, I totally agree with you, mate. I mean, it's not cost as though, obviously, it, it, it's the pain of it all, to be, be, to be fair. So you reckon calling tastes better? Well, that'd be interesting. When I, put, when I actually do one against the other, I, I've done this with beers. I've done this with some of my absolute box-ticking supermarket beers, like the likes of, obviously, Shepherd Neem 1698, King Goblin, uh, Abbott Reserve, and another one, I forget the name of. And um, it was amazing which beer came out on top. So when you're doing beer reviews or lager reviews, and I'm sure I'm not the only one in the community who's like this, but um, <clears throat> you drink one and you give it a certain score or whatever, but you've got to be drinking one against the other. Yeah, we'll need one for car soon, the way it's going. Driverless cars that stop you getting too close to anybody. Now, that'd be something. Cars that break for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm never good at pouring. So, yeah, cars. A bit lighter on, on the colour than the carling. Although, to be fair, we'll go over all that when I pour the actual, when we pour them all out. 
for now, I'll just if honest, if I'm being honest, a sweeter nose than the last one. Two kilograms of sugar. No, I've got no Budweiser. No. I, I, all I did, I picked, I've got like a stash of stuff that I've already reviewed. And I'm thinking to myself, well, we'll do them. We'll use them for these tap room nights. Good evening, mate. Yeah, I'm doing the usual half, half pouring out and tasting and then the actual battle. And then I'll probably go on to some at, um, some at night again. But it's a battle of the lagers. Everyone normally picks out, um, yeah, StreamYard tonight. It's slightly different tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm having to look that way for the comments instead of being able to see the comments there in front of me. It's a shame I can't get the comments on my little, on my phone as well, rather than just looking over there all the time. <laughs> what I also... And this is the thing, everybody everybody has got a favour. Good evening, Craig, how are you? Everyone's got a favour with beers and lagers. And um, it's funny, the quality looks good now. And then I play it back on my computer and the quality looks crap. But I'm thinking of doing, using these raggy tap room nights to do, go to the supermarket, get a four for six, and doing four from a certain brewery that I've already reviewed and doing battle of beer nights, something like that. I think the battle nights are good. Four golden beers, four sours, maybe not sours. Had a minute of looking crap. <laughs> one time, one one lager for life. Jesus, that's a toughie. You could ask that to everybody in here, couldn't you, really? What would you what could you drink for life? It is a tough thing. See, I, I do like Bira Moretti. I do find Bira Moretti quite a decent lager. Um <laughs> like that like that film with the um the Christmassy film where he's driving around with the car hanging on. Me, percentage wise, above six. Yeah, 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 all day long. Um, I'll tell you one I did like recently that I've had. Um, last beer, last ever beer, it'd be an Imperial Stout, definitely. Um, as for lagers, Tetley's number four. Tech's unbeaten, you know. It does. We'll have an old Tom night. I might even do an old Tom challenge now. Get eight eight bottles of old Tom. Eight. I'm not buying ten. Too tight. But for 12 quid, eight bottles. And do, and do. Good evening, mate. And do an, an old Tom. Um, <laughs> an old Tom challenge now. Eight bottles. 12 quid's not too much. We could get multiple people doing it, even other beer reviewers. Yeah, especially when other beer reviewers are back in the beer, uh, beer scene. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> yeah, eight of them, though. Four. Ten's durable, do you reckon? Wow. It'd be good. Not on a, it'd be, That'd be a Friday night job. It would not be a Tuesday night. You know, you've got to be careful on Tuesday. I've got work to I'm getting too drunk at work. I've drank more when I well, when I was ill last year. Definitely, certainly drank more then. Yeah, I suppose that I suppose I do. It's just all these social medias. I really struggle keeping up with all what I'm on now. Is there a community on Untapped? It's it, it's it's not something that I'm um, too knowledgeable on in that respect. What I need to do, move the TV slightly that way. Might have to do some tweaking. 
So I can see the TV, but I can see the comments at exactly the same moment. Jai Per. I know everyone's drinking nicer stuff than me tonight. Dr. Bollock, yeah, aren't they? That's interesting. The St. Peter's night, yeah. Supermarket night, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, just, you know, going to the likes of Marks and Spencers and just doing nights, like the old beer nights, where we're just doing the Battle of the Plum Porters and stuff like that. I don't take my T-shirts off, no one. Uh, that's stuff I don't no. If I'm steaming, I'll take my jumper off. <laughs> I'll take my T-shirt off. <clears throat> There'd be no one watching after five minutes. So. Bit sweeter than the Carly. Um, again, not a lot in it. Any red cards last night? Um, no, no. I didn't wake up with a bollocking this morning. Just cooked and washed up. Good on you. I think the wife's going to be on the... Um, Good evening, Mr. Rampant Lion. And welcome to the Raggy's Tap Room. Moves out. Don't do that. <laughs> so, in the Raggy's Beer Review glass, not that you can see it properly because it needs, it needs beer in it. Huh? Have you? Yeah. That's the only problem these days. A lot of beers go so quickly, don't they? A lot of beers are only here for a season and they're gone, especially with some of the breweries in Nottingham. They don't last long. So this is Rockshaw Irish Lager. It only recently has been released, especially in, in Tesco's at least. Whether it was out any longer, I don't know. So it's, um, it does say 4%, doesn't it? There you go. I think I can't see it in this light. Yeah, 4%. Brewed in Dublin at St. James Gate. So that gives the game away. St. James Gate gives the game away. It's a Guinness lager. Is it funny that Guinness have pulled Hop House 13 and then all, all of a sudden Rockshaw's out? I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but uh, <clears throat> there may be a reason for, for, for it going. I won't be surprised, uh, James. I won't be surprised. What goes off in this uh, these days with companies? It's definitely, it definitely, it's definitely sounds like it's a Guinness. Um, uh, I've just had an eight egg, eight egg omelette. It's been delayed till the twenty third now, apparently. Um, Death Star, yeah, it's getting ridiculous, isn't it? Good evening, Bolton. 12 times pint Stella chalices. 25 quid delivered. Bloody hell, I could have gave you five. <clears throat> I think I paid a penny each for mine from St. Chris. Dog's in the house, I do apologise for everyone watching. Charlie, the dog's in. Yep. He's known as Tappy Feet for obvious reasons. So, slightly darker, it looks like anyway, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there in the end. Bit of a head on this subtle carbonation, but that might be the glass as well. Good to see a strong Scottish contingent in the house tonight. Very well, in the tap room, rather. Okay, it's interesting. I've tasted the other two, it's going to be a very interesting battle. Um, easy going, easy drinking, light molds again. Different in taste of the other two, that's for sure. Give the dog a slur. Yeah. I've got the door open, so he comes in. He, he likes to sit on the deck, and he, 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 what he does, he likes to be outside with me. When I'm in the garden, the dog's in the garden. He just loves being outside. He does not like going for a walk. He got bit on the face as a puppy. He's 14 now, and he won't go for a walk. The amount of walking he does is around his garden. He's happy in his garden. 100 miles away. Old Tom, old Jock Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 bottles each. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I 
I wonder if James could do that. I wonder if James could do 10, 10 bottles of either old Tom or old Jock. That'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to see if he could. We'll have to do it. We'll have to do a bounce off one night. A, a live. Try and get us all drinking the same stuff. Especially when he's back in the UK at the motherland. So, yeah. A bit of an aftertaste for this. Got to be fair. I'm, I am getting a bit of an aftertaste. No, I, I'm not. I'm not great with volume. No, there's a, there's a time in a day when you're drinking plenty and you can do it, and then there's other times when I have two or three pints and I'm steaming, and I'm like, "What the hell's going on?" Two or three pints and I'm steaming, and then another day, ten or eleven pints, nothing, still drinking. Well, that's the thing with the supermarkets in the UK at the moment, isn't it? At the moment, it's ridiculous. Um, the amount, the sheer amount of new beers, it's ridiculous. Meth's Corner in Tesco. Oh, this one, you mean? You'd go for 10 for do Bell. I've seen the Duval challenge the, with Simon and Scott and um, Mr. Bear Hooligan. And uh, that was some interesting challenge, that was. Yeah, interesting. Scott was hammered, poor bloke. Ah, right, yeah. Yeah, to be honest, I've got to be honest, uh, it's going to be an interesting night because is it any good? And I thought it was okay the first time I drank it. Tonight, it's not hitting the spot. It's amazing how beers change. Um, I'm getting an aftertaste from somewhere. Um, it's obviously made by Guinness because it's made where it, you know you can tell where it's made. St James's Day Guinness. I reckon they got rid of the Hop House 13 brand so they could they could push this brand, and uh, it's amazing how these how it how it works and. It, in, in Mead, you know, in Diageo, because Diageo own Guinness and own, own all the brands. So they'll retire brands whenever they feel like it. If they feel it's not working. Public transport, no, no, I'm not keen on public transport. Too many um, coppers and stuff. Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather walk. So, at the moment, for people joining, people in the background, I'm having a taste of each beer first, roughly about half, just to see. Um, I've not, I don't remember an Enigma now. Erdinger Crystal, yes, I have. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, decent others. Bit much better than these lot in front. Of me. <laughs> Hello, Angie. I thought Off House 13 was a decent enough lager, to be fair. It's probably better than the four in front of me. Yeah, very much, much better than the four in front of me. So, yeah, first things first with this is to, is to get have a taste of each one, see, see if I can pick anything out, and then actually do a, a smell taste, a look taste, a look taste. Smell it, look at it. And then also, then the battle, see what actually wins on flavour. It's going to be interesting. It is nice. I had it the other week. Erdinger uh, Crystal. Yeah. It's not, it's not a long review ago. It was, it was, it was, re, it was pretty recent the review. I mean, on the, on the mouth, not too bitey. Six point four percent for the artisan lager. Bless you. I've actually got some artisan lager here. What I might do is actually get the own brew out 
again with that. <clears throat> so we've just introduced the fifth the fifth logger into the equation. That's my artisan lager. A bit darker than the other stuff. I'll put it down there. So we'll have a battle of the five lagers now. Right? Good thing they're not too strong because I'll be steaming. <clears throat> 6.4%. And this is where this is where the Wilco's beer kits are beyond excellent because you can play around, you can add hops, you know, you can get them off Wilco's or go to shops, and uh, they are great for uh, experimentation. Get the IPA kit, and like like you see the big breweries doing Sabro, IPA, Simcoe, Mosaic. You can do that yourself. You get Wilco's IPA kit. It'll probably come with, I think it's Willamette. I'm not pissed on that. <clears throat> yeah. Just getting lively. Um, the Willamette it comes with. But Willamette is, is quite weak, really. <laughs> no, no, no. I use, I use coffee jars much easier. So, put that one down. Save it for the um, for the battle. And now on to Angelo Peretti. This is actually a physics machine. No, no, no. I've not even heard of it, to be honest. I've just bought myself a painter. So, where you own brew it yourself. I'm not sure what a physics machine is. You have to tell me. Um, you brew it yourself and then you pour it from the pint. So you're basically getting that like, cask beer, really. Um, 12 quid for a 10 pint kit that you put in yourself and you brew yourself and then you then you pour it yourself. Um, which will be interesting when it comes. Well, it's two weeks, apparently. So this is 5%. So we're heading in the right direction. Angelo Peretti, um, made in the UK by Carlsberg. Carlsberg and the people, they're distributing, distribute, distributing it in the UK. We'll get them in. Good evening. Premium lager, smooth and aromatic. Hops for what that means. So, now on the Italian. Pour a bit of this out. I actually got an Angelo Peretti glass. And then finally, we're going to get a fifth one to join the mix. We're going to get the, I could actually go on, because I've got about 10 lagers, but then again. Yeah, yeah, I've watched Real Ale Craft Beer. He was the reason that I got into beer reviewing. I'm on. T I'm watching TV one night, and Central TV's on. And uh, there's this bloke, all of a sudden, there's on about this bloke reviewing beers. And uh, did I tax that glass? <laughs> <clears throat> no <comment. clears throat> yeah, you can buy Angela Peretti in Tes Tesco's. Yeah, and I'm watching some beer with this bloke reviewing beers. This is about three years ago now. And it was Simon. And uh, I watched him and I thought, I can talk, you know, about beers in some sort of word. And uh, hence why I started doing beer reviews back in 2018. Mainly for myself, really. I didn't, really see. I didn't think I'd ever get a community or people watching. I just did a few beer reviews and uh, got used to talking to a camera because it's not easy talking to a camera when you're not used to it. Take some doing. Brewfer makes some great kits, you know. I've done their cherry and raspberry, and you can really ramp up the. Um, <laughs> Cheers. Very different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, I'm here because I'm a fan of beer. I'm a fan of lager, ciders, spirits, wine, you know. But, you know, and it's never just about me. There's, there's the community that's around us is amazing. Other beer reviewers, friends of the channel. People who just come and go. That's what it's all about. And, uh, you know, 
never taking myself too seriously. God, half the time I probably get it wrong about what I'm reviewing anyway. And sometimes I can't even yeah, get paid for it. I think some hilarious. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I've had a few exploding bottles. And as usual, fantastic pour. Um, yeah, it's, it's a, it looks like a calling glass to me, this does. It's made by Carl, it's Carlsberg, who bring it into the country. I prefer sweet over dry. That's the, um, that's where, you know, for me. So, a lot of carbonation on this. One must remember. It all depends on the glass that you that you use it. If you're using a beer glass for lager, you aren't going to get the carbonation because there's no widgety things in the bottom. The widgety things, you know, for want of a better word, it's like printed stuff that's in the bottom. And in the bottom of this glass, it actually printed uh, Angelo Peretti. And it, um, yeah, I know the head's ridiculous, isn't it? Nine point two nine percent. Be some. My sort, of, my sort of strength. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, the widgets promote the carbonation and promote the head as well. On the nose. What I'm going to do in a minute, I'm going to pour, pour them all out and then jump onto my own while, while they all calm down so, I, so I'm not suffering this. It's doing my head. It's wrong. Very similar to the Rock Shore in sweetness levels, but to me, a little bit nicer. To me, it's okay. It's not, um, it's not as refined as a Vera Moretti for me. I prefer Vera Moretti over this. <laughs> Good evening. How are you? So, yeah, it's... Um, Definitely a sweeter nose than the others. Um, the ABV, it, it feels thicker on the mouth than the others, whereas the others feel quite thin. This feels slightly thicker. Boom wine. Yeah, it is deadly. For me, prune wine should only be drank. One, when you're not too drunk, because, you know, it can get very hazardous. Yes. One doesn't want to be doing prune wine uh, wind in the middle of the night, you know, when you were your eye, and all of a sudden you've been on the prune wine a little bit too much, and you wake up in the morning and there's a mess. Yeah, it could get very, very nasty. Yeah, especially when the wife gives you a slap. <laughs> Although I think your body actually holds everything in when you're asleep, but it's not something I'd want to put to the test. I have, however, drank a litre of prune wine in one night. And when my stomach started gurgling, that was enough. It was like, oh, I'm not going that. I'm not going any further into this territory. Yes, mate. That's the link to the brewer. Oh, that'd be good. Which one's the nerd brewery? Ah, yeah, there. Yes, one that Adam sent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will do, yeah. I'm, I might do an Imperial Stout night soon. Good evening, Harry. And how are you? So, Battle of the Lagers tonight. The Prune Wine One Litre Chug Challenge. <laughs> yeah. Hey, One Litre Chug Challenge with everyone drinking the same Prune Wine. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Get you to um, get you to make a super strong broom wine 
can get three or four um, home brewers, uh, not home brewers, beer reviewers together and get everyone to drink it and see who can do it and pass. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be quite interesting. Definitely. <laughs> I could do it. Uh, but I'm quite used to it now. Do I think, do you think I, you have a drink pub? Actually, I drink a lot less now than I did this time last year. This time last year, I was drinking, shall we say, silly amounts. There was a reason behind it, obviously. But uh, No, I actually calmed right there. In fact, yeah, you asked, would be chugging in the morning. It, it wouldn't be good, it, you know. I reckon the needs. I reckon. I reckon there's got to be um. There's got to be an old Tom challenge, an eight bottle old Tom challenge. I know Harry's up for it. Craig may be up for it. James is he up for it? Norman is he up for it? And and obviously the community as well. All of us getting eight bottles and see who can do it. Hey, okay. that'd be good. And then. Step one, find it somewhere. Can't you find it? And yeah, it's normally everywhere. So. Dog thinks I've done. Yes, babe. Come on. Come here. No, it's gone. Time limit. I don't know. That's all I've got. I'm down the shed too long. I just get a bowl. It's not worth the hassle. And I'm sure a lot of blokes can relate to me. But, you know, you get a bit of a red card. It's more like pot. Let's just make sure it is actually lager. Oh, it's lager. So this is artisan lager. Brewed from Wilco's. I did not play around with the kit. We'll have to do, because Old Tom's not expensive. It's four for six quid from the likes of, uh, it was at Tesco's four for six, unless they've, ch unless they've changed. I've got a red and yellow card. Yeah, yeah. The black card, I'll be out on the street. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to lift Charlie up then. Oh, tappy beat. Uh, he's not happy now. He's giving me the look. Even the dog, even the dog's like me. Why? He just stands there at the door looking at me like. Come here. Come here. Get in here. Get in here. Come here. Everyone can hear your feet. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. He licks his, he licks his lips when he's a bit stressed. He's a bit like his dad, really. Bit of a stressor. There you go. Oh, Charlie. 14 years old. But he's a beaut, aren't he? Go on. He'll bark at me in a minute. Yeah, he's going to bark in a minute. So this is... Wilco's homebrew lager, artisan lager. I'm going to shut the door in a minute. <clears throat> Quite a nice looking port, to be fair. Um, lager is one of the work. The it is cute. It is. Yeah, he's going a bit. Is it cataracts in the eye? He's got cataracts in one eye, so I think that means he's going blind and starting to go blind. Uh, he's deaf, so. But he's still, he's still a beauty, you know. He's, he's nutter. He goes for a poo and he runs around the garden, thinks he's done the Olympics. You know, I suppose it's a bit like us when, you know, you let a bit of wind out, it stinks and you just walk off laughing, that sort of thing. <laughs> so, yeah, quite a nice golden pour. Not much carbonation. Then the glass isn't uh, that sort of glass, to be fair. Whitehead. There's, there's some subtle carbonation in there. Uh, and you know when this was brewing? Um, this was brewing and it, and it smelled awful. I opened up the top 
and it stunk. Cataracts in both arms, God bless them. Yeah, a cock spaniel as well. And uh, you know the cocker spaniels, he, when he sees people on the street when it's dark, he sees people. And all of a sudden, most of the time, he's got a normal foot bark. It's like, ruff, 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 ruff. then he sees people on the street when it's dark. And all of a sudden, he gives off the big dog bark. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, matey. So I'm on a challenge. I'm, I'm on a, a battle of the lagers tonight. I've got carling, cause. This is a lot lighter than a bottle, isn't it? Uh, I've got Rock Short Irish Lager from Guinness. And I've also got Angela Ferretti. Then I've also got my artisan lager, homebrew lager. And I've got to say, the homebrew lager is pretty damn clear. And it doesn't taste homebrewy as well. Because, you know, some of the cheap lager kits, some of the cheap lager kits, you drink them and you know it's home straight away. Uh, they don't taste as good. Um, bless them. I love Spaniels. I really do. Um, you know, like every dog owner, you hope and pray it keeps going. Does it? Right. I didn't know that. It stunk. The shed absolutely stunk. And I'm thinking, what the hell? This is going to go in the bin. Then I put the hops in. 4%. I did not play around the strength for this. Yeah, it's 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 matured beautifully. I mean, that's a nice pour, I think. It's going to be very interesting to get to the others. Maybe I shouldn't have poured a full pint out of it. But what are we? It's only quarter to nine so job's good a labradoodle and a samaritan all your prune wine good evening and to everybody in the room mr crummy beard here is another nottingham beer reviewer and uh, good to have you on the chat yeah yeah for a homebrew lager home lager apparently so i've been told is one of the hardest. Uh, having a good day. It was a good day till 10 o'clock and my wife's car got banged. But overall, it's not been too bad a day. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, insurance has sorted it all out. And the, the car's not in too bad a condition. And um, she's okay, the wife as well, which is the main thing. You know, cars can be replaced, people can't. Ah. So Mr. Crummy Bear's name is Tom. Ah, always get the game away there. And welcome back, Paul. I mean, it's great that there's so many beer reviewers out there. Because, you know, as communities go, none of us, none of us would be able to. I couldn't even review every beer in Nottingham. Never mind around the country and around the world. What lager kit was it? I meant to watch your video, to be fair, but so busy. Spent two hours down the shed every night. Do I get the bottom of the line? Maybe not. Maybe it's all down to, you know, maybe it's, it's with home brewing, you know, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. I could never do Cooper's ginger beer. Every time I brewed it, the, the, the yeast, in Cooper's ginger beer kits was crap. It's good to see new beer reviews. You know, it's great because everyone's got their own style. Everyone's got different personalities. And good personalities is great. Not drinking today. I need to say that one day. One day I'll say it. Get a brewed experimental log. Ah, I did read it, and I, I, I seen what you put, get her brews, liquid malt kit. Ah, very interesting. Yeah, I did see what you, your title, I didn't realise it was actually, um, actually a brand.
Yeah, the Cooper's yeast in the ginger beer is crap. The best ginger beer kit on the market is simply ginger beer. Brilliant. You can play around with the kit. You can go stronger, much stronger. Uh, although the mild I'm brewing is not quite as, as good as it is. For me, ginger beer kit that I did. I did a 9% once before, yeah. Northern Ireland. Oh, right. I'm, I'm, we're supposed to be going to back over to Northern Ireland sometime this year, if we can. Supply to microbrews. Oh. Right. My wife, she, came, she comes from London, though. That's why I can't, can't win an argument. You know, you start an argument, you get no chance of winning. So you just don't bother. It's just, just not worth the hassle of bothering. Off brow. I've got that for review purposes. Off brow lager. Never had it before. So looking forward to doing that. Apparently, it's really, really nice. <laughs> Your mate's a ginger beer, he loves a sausage. Are you typing or are you um, talking to the phone? See you later, mate. Yeah, Morrison's the other day. Their beer range is, is really interesting. I mean, their beer range, to be fair, is probably the best of all supermarkets. Brew Hut. It's a belter, is it? Right. I will try. I love trying different styles. I, I'm not just a craft beer fan. I like to try everything. It's just, I need variation. If I if I tried Cloud Waters, Tesco's, IPAs every night for, for about two weeks, I think that'd be the end of beer reviewing. I think I'd just walk away and never never drink a beer again. <clears throat> not being horrible to Cloud Water, but they were a bit boring. So, in a minute, when I've got rid of this, I'm actually going to do the battle, the actual battle. We're about an hour in nearly. Good evening, Liam. And uh, you've just reminded me, I need to sort that pinter out. So I need to go back on and claim my free monthly subscription. Yeah. And then after a month, cancel it. Once I've, once I've got the glass and the free kit, cancel it. So, yeah, thank you. Some interesting beer kits on that site, on the Pinter site. I will be doing Pinter videos as well. There's going to be a lot of homebrew in the shed at some stage. I've got homebrew wine that I'm going to do. I've got two barrels of homebrew beer at the moment. Vimto wine. I thought the, I could hardly tell any difference between all the cloud waters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to try something different. Why Cloudwater didn't go for an IPA, a porter, a bitter, a stout, instead of doing four bland IPAs? And that alcohol-free job it was awful. <laughs> it was like orange juice. It, it was hoppy, hoppy orange juice, basically. And that's me trying to be nice. It wasn't the best. Travel and brews. I am going to be doing some, some because um, obviously it'll be new to me, so I will be doing some pint of videos as well. It's It just puts a bit of variation on the theme. Plus, I love the homebrew, you know. I can do one review and then drink the other nine pints. That was good. Win-win. And then start brewing again. Too much of the same these days. That's why you've got to vary. I like to go from craft to traditional to ciders, lagers, wines and spirits. and But also um, local as well, because supporting local, you know, luckily me and you live in Nottingham. We live in a fantastic area for beers. The breweries are amazing. And uh, I'm hoping to get to join join up with the local breweries on, the, on a bigger scale at some stage. When I'm allowed to do, um, if they're up for it, go to breweries and do like live streams and do 
questions, answering questions and all that. It's boring though, isn't it? I like days. I mean, I'd rather they did that Imperial Stouts and put some flavour in. A beer kit with turbo yeast. 20%? That'd be an interesting beer kit. I mean, let's be fair. Fermentation-wise, and Harry will know better than anybody, fermentation-wise, I'm sure you can go up to 23%. Do you know, and this is a sad fact, that I live in Nottingham. There's probably at least 10 tap rooms in Nottingham. Never been to any one of them. Never. Sadly enough, my friends, or old friends probably, uh, none of them were much on the craft beer scene. You know, they just want to be drinking out that comes. 23 to 26. Wow. A mecca for beer drinkers, Nottingham. <laughs> Nottingham, Bristol, Leeds. Yeah. I mean, Nottingham city centre. And then if you've got a car, you can... Nearly every brewery's got a tap room. And there are, there are some amazing breweries. I also want to do more brewery tours this year. Definitely. And once everything opens up properly, I'm wondering on the Saturday in October, if people are up for it, for the people that come and they're up for it, if they're still here on the Saturday, obviously, about doing a brewery tour as well. Yeah, I can't, I'm not drinking IPAs all day, but I can't stand them. I want to be drinking stouts. I don't mind an IPA, but I don't want to be drinking the same. Gothenburg. Has Gothenburg got a theme park? Is it Tivoli in Gothenburg? This is my um, artisan lager from Wilcox. Yeah, crystal clear. Look at that for a lager. Homebrew. Yay. Yeah, yeah. Bus. I mean, you can get a bus to most of the tap rooms in Nottingham. Good evening, Mr. Hophouse. So if I ever went to London, I'd need to be going with somebody who knows London because I'd get lost. And, I, and I, as someone who suffers with anxiety, I'd be stressed out to the bits. So I couldn't do it on my own. Howling up. Oh, what, you know these testing nights? Did he drink all of them? Tivoli is Copenhagen. Leesburg. Leesburg. That's a great theme park. Yes. It is a theme park, isn't it? Of course. Sure it is. Thank you, matey, for the um, super chat. Um, have I tried any New York beers recently? No, I've got, I've got. Goose Willis. The, see that, the light. Yeah, the gooseberry, um, Gooseberry sour. It is gooseberry, isn't it? Can't read from the slides. Um, I do want to do an order. I do want to do an order from Brew York. I've done one from Vocation. Got some amazing stouts. That was some order. The Imperial Banoffee and the Imperial Cherry were just unbelievable with the Kirsch. You're in London. I went once to London, but I went on the underground. Oh, my God, that was scary. Yeah. Well, I've got the Robin Hood Beer Festival in October, Hucknall Beer Festival in August, Nottingham Craft Beer Festival in August. Quite a few. It's a Gooseberry Fool Sour. Oh, that'll be strong. Yeah, the Oxo Tower by the river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got steam in there. Never drank so much in my life. And however, I was still walking. Good evening, Greg. How are you, matey? 20 years in London. Jesus. Yes, it's on the, I think it's on the Sunday. 
Lincoln Green, they're doing it, and uh, it's going to be a biggie. It'd be good to go down. I'll tell you a story about Lincoln Green. I walked into the shop one day, Lincoln Green Brewery, and the bloke in the shop, the boss, he walks in. I walked in and he says, uh, straight away he turns around to me and says, uh, I feel like I need to be uh, getting down on hands and knees. No, you are. And he obviously recognised me from the review. I was ever so embarrassed, but he was he was Sam to be fair. Thank you. Nutter nut brown and tiny bevel. Super super beer like traditional style brown ale. I've had some of the tiny tiny rebels and thank you again. Um, I've had some of the tiny rebels, uh, the imperial puffed tiny rebels. They are damn nice, they are. Um, yeah. Again, you know, all these breweries. Yeah, he's a cracking bloke. All these breweries, you know, there's, there's some amazing breweries out there. Yeah. What did you review, by the way? Just out of curiosity. And yeah, Aberdeen. Aberdeen does sound nice, uh, James. So, I'll get the lagers out because it's two minutes past eight. Good evening, Mike. Yeah, yeah, it's the community. It's more the community on it. The community keeps me going. It, you know, the fantastic community. And obviously, it's lovely to see other beer reviewers coming in for a chat. It's what the internet's about. It's what the internet should be about: jumping on other beer reviews, reviews channels, talking about other beer reviewers. Butter much? Oh, butterscotch flavored beer. I'm thinking of doing an imperial butterscotch stout. That's just because this is like doing strong bits. There you go. And I know how they do the butterscotch flavour. If you if you know Radford, you probably do anyway. No, that's right, mate. Too many good beers. So many good beers. You just can't keep up with it, can you? Any beer, yeah, eight kilograms sugar. But you're going to have to use some good strong yeast, aren't you? Yeah, the pores are crap. One does apologise. Never been in, never been in for pores. Lime. Better pour this time. So we're doing the taste off in a minute. This will be interesting. Wilco IPA with marshmallow flavours. Are you getting the marshmallow? Right, that was a crap pour again. Thank you for thank you for joining, James, and have a good one, mate. And yes, Aberdeen one day, definitely. When you're back over it, or if you come to Nottingham, Neon Raptor. Oh. I won't pour so much of the uh, my lager this time. Food flavouring. Right. I tell you what, food flavourings and syrups definitely, um, definitely the way to go with changing beers. So Lincoln Green's Buttermunch is an amazing dark beer. Um, they get their flavouring from, and I know this because the ladies at Shuffle, Sweet Success in Nottingham told me they use a butterscotch flavouring from Sweet Success. God knows how much, but they do. And it, they, they do. it's a fantastic, um, yeah, fantastic bit. Thornbridge's Brother Rabbit. Uh, Oakham Citra. Yeah, Thornbridge can be sometimes it's a miss. Coco Wonderland. That's absolutely immense of theirs. But I suppose every brewery has got something you're never going to like every brewery's beer. Um, traditional craft. Difficult. I prefer traditional beers against IPAs, craft IPAs, by a long shot. But when it comes to imperial stouts, uh, craft imperial stouts are amazing. You know, they really are. The Thornbridge one. Necessary Evil was a, was a beer and a half. That was just absolutely divine. 11 quid a bottle. Yes, pricey. Pricey for a lot of people. 
foot immense. So here we go. There's carling, the colour. Um, cores a lot lighter, quite a bit lighter. Against Rockshaw, pretty much similar looking colour. Against uh, Peretti, Peretti slightly lighter. And against my homebrew, Star Wars beer. I thought he was going to say Death Star then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight through tonight. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm doing the tap. I'm doing it as Raggy's tap room. It's a straight through. People can watch it unadulterated. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll do it later. Yeah, yeah later. Run. That's the sun trying, trying to tell me to go over the fence to get to football. Yeah. Yeah, the stouts are. I mean, I mean, stouts are amazing. And thank you, Mister. ABK Hell Lager. You mean Co-op? Yeah, I know. Co-op have also updated their range. I know because Borman's done a review. And for those who don't know, who are joining the channel tonight, uh, there's quite a few beer reviewers on the channel. So if you see someone's name and they say beer reviewer, we've got in tonight and talking. We've got the likes of Bowman's Bear Reviewers, Bear Reviewer from Carlisle. We've got Crummy Beard, a Nottingham Bear Reviewer. Kent Bear Reviews from Kent, of course. Paul's Bear Reviews. I'm not sure where Paul's from, to be fair. Up north, I think. We've got So Fucking Drunk, who is actually from Scotland, and he will be back on doing Bear Reviews this year. So, yeah, good community. Good people chatting and, uh, you know, joining their Bear Reviews when they go live as well. It's all interesting. Everyone's different. And that's what it's all about. Good community. Yeah, Bull Bullman's already done the um, the co-op brew dog that's in co-op. Yeah, it's amazing at the moment. Everyone's going mad on different breweries. A good stout and a porter. Yeah. I mean, um, Lincoln Green are near me. They do, they, they, do, they do a, I think it's a porter called Tuck, and Tuck is amazing. I'm sure Mr. Crummy Beard will know the, about Tuck, and it's only like 5%. It's bloody immense. The taste is amazing. Amazing taste. So, taste-wise, on, we'll do it on the nose first. On the nose, Carling. And Hop House is here as well. forgot about you, mate. I do apologise. From Telford in Shropshire. Lots of beer reviewers. So, for everybody watching, Check out their names. Go, you know, go on YouTube, tap in their names. Rampant Lion Beer Reviews. He's a fellow with over 9,000 subscribers. So very, very popular. And he had one video of one and a half million views. And it was a bitter. Castlemaine Forex, I think. One and a half million reviews. Uh, views, rather. I always work hard. So both 48 weeks. Ah. So, right, multi nose on that one. So, I'm just doing a nose test now on all of them. All right, oh shoot, some down my leg, job's good, and the floor's got it on anyway. Right, lager is winning on the nose test. On the nose test, look, look lager, calling right. Um, hmm. right on the nose test, it's between Angelo Peretti and Carly. Good evening. Yes, I did spill some. Did you see me spill some or hear it? Good evening, Adam. And yet another beer reviewer for everybody in the background watching. So, lots of good beer reviewers about on YouTube. And that's Adam of Mersey Beer, just in case I didn't say it already. It'd been an impish start down me, like I'd be on the floor, licking the floor. Yeah, one and a half million subscribers, and it's only for something like Castlemaine 4X. And, uh, whew. I need to do, I need to do, like I did with Bowman at the weekend, 
do some collabs. And uh, I think the beer review community doing that as well, it gets people knowing other people's names and gets, gets you out there with everybody else, seeing what you like, looking at your personality. The likes of Dean's beer reviews. Dean is the man to be fair. And I'm surprised Dean hasn't contacted both of you yet. And, and I'm talking to Hop House and Crummy Beer. Spilt. Yeah, I thought said split. <clears throat> so, yeah, on the nose, more of a lager malt aroma on the carving. A more refined aroma from the Angelo Peretti. So it's all down to personal taste. The, the other three, to be fair, on, on the aroma side, it's, Dean is good. He's a good blow. Top class. He's good at uh, introducing people and making them feel at home. He'll, give you, he'll talk to you for 10 minutes before and just to make sure you, you, you're decent. It's that confidence to go live. Going live is uh, getting the confidence to do it. It's all right talking to a camera and you're on your own. Going live is something different. So, being honest, I prefer the refined aroma of the Angelo Peretti over the Carlin. Got to be honest, I prefer that. Now, the taste side of things. So, on the colour, on the colour, it, it, again, probably Carling wins on the colour. Thank you. Well, right, on the taste side of things. So, it, it, this is where I get drunk. I do apologise. To be fair, I thought cause was slightly better there. Rockshaw's slightly bite here. Yeah? I'm going to be steaming after this. Steaming. Uh, I'm a bit like you, Norman. Yeah. I do that every day at work. I start off in the day hating myself. By the end of the day, I'm not too bad. <laughs> so the homebrew certainly loses this on the taste side of things. I need to get hold of Craft Beer Basic as well, Liam and Mr. Crummy Beard, and uh, get him to come out because he's Nottingham as well. Another Nottingham beer reviewer. And obviously works at Neon Raptor, so he's in a great place to drink these beer. It must cost him a fortune. Unless he gets free beer while he's there. What a great place to be. Slight nuttiness from the calling there. I don't know where this nut's come from. Really quite difficult choosing a taste. I'm gonna whittle them down in a minute. Rockshaw. Rockshaw. Now the now the no tea bag, no, no. Now the air has got to Rockshaw. It's getting bitey. It's got a bit of... No, there's no peanuts in it. I don't know where I'm getting from at times. And I don't eat nuts. I need to message him on... on um Because he, he seems a lovely bloke uh, when he's doing his beer reviews. He, he doesn't take himself too seriously. And, uh, yeah, he seems a top-class bloke. We'll probably meet him when I actually go into Neon Rap or something. But it'd be, it'd be, it'd be good to have a... Imagine going out for a booze or hey, around the tap rooms in Nottingham. So the home brewery is out of the equation on the taste side of things. Oh, dear. So now I need to drop another. Oh, 
calling number one. Numbers have in, yeah, calling's number one. Cause is number two. Got to be honest, cause is tasting better than calling. That's Rockshaw, that's number three. It's got more bitey element to it. Oh, I'm feeling it now. Oh, mix and matching is not good. It's not, it's not, it's Right, I need to dump one. Um, I ran out. I nearly ran out of the calling. Then. Right, that's getting dumped. The calling, um, I'm afraid, is the bland. It's totally bland compared to the other. Yeah, so we're between cores, um, Rockshaw. And um, the Peroni now, uh, Peroni, Peretti. I didn't mean to say that. <sighs> One does need to go for a slight toilet break, I think. Foster's ice. Yeah, I don't remember that, to be honest. One is going for a slight toilet break because I can't hold it any longer. Back in two seconds, all. Oh. Shut the door, so can't do I want to just apologise. Right, back in. Back in the house. <laughs> so, welcome back, everyone. So, with for those who have just come, or we're doing a, a battle of the lagers. Carling, cause Rockshaw Log, new in at Tesco. It's made by Guinness, four people. Angelo Peretti and my homebrew lager. <laughs> Rockshaw versus Hop House for 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be an interesting. If you could source a bottle of Hop House 13 and do one between them, now that would be interesting. <laughs> so, um, colour wise, Carling, I think Carling nailed it on colour. Nose wise, Angelo Peretti nailed it. Um, Taste-wise, Carling's just been knocked out. I will drink the rest of the Carling to get it out of the way. Because the... Good evening, mate. So the Carling's gone. You need to get yourself some Rockshaw and do Rockshaw versus Off House 13, Craig. That'd be interesting. I've noticed that these verses bear these verses reviews get a lot of abuse as well. Still got a half house thirteen. Get yourself a rock short. Let's go. Four for four quid. In fact, have I got a spare one? No, I drank it. Oh god, if I had a spare one, I'd have dropped it off for you. Who's got the football on in the background? Not me. No. His birdie's on in the background. That's about it then. So I'll just neck this lager to get it out of the equation. The artisan lager, it's okay, but it's it's not as good as commercial. I've got to be honest. Little question, little um. <clears throat> So, to everyone watching and the community as a whole, estimated how many beers 
bottles of beers or cans have you got at home? Roughly. How many do you think you've got? Just out of curiosity. It's always interesting to know how many people have got. Partisan, don't talk to me about partisan. <laughs> Matt, Matt Ellis from uh, Low Cost must have been watching that and think, oh God, I've tr you've got 50. That's not a lot for a beer reviewer, is it? It's probably a good thing, actually. It's a full. Yeah, yeah, full. Not empty. Empty. You chuck your empties. I've seen you've got a massive pile of cans behind you and you need beer reviews. 40. 50. Right, wow, that's interesting. What's the log you got brewing? Yeah, full. No empties. 70. Damn. I might be overdoing it then. Uh, there's certain breweries that are two days worth. <laughs> I'm actually calming down. I'm not. I'm doing most of my reviews all together now. Three hundred, aging since two thousand and fourteen. Wow. Wow. What what you got aging that's good? What what you, what's interesting? You've got aging like imperials and stuff. 70 grand to yeah that's probably that's a good size isn't it about 90 to 100 seven talks as well wow Wow, Mr. Shark, and, and welcome. Um, you haven't got much in. Jesus. That's quite low, that is. Two bottles and two, two litres. Nine-year-old bottle of Imperial Stout. Is that the Fuller's one? Fuller's Imperial. If I can get a Hop House 13, I'll do a Hop House versus Rock Draw. I'll go and buy some more Rock Draw. Geordie Beer Kit from Wilco. Have you increased the sugar content to it or added a like, spray malt or anything? Liam, we are close. To what? Nine year old bottle, though. Jesus Christ. There's no chance in God's green earth that an imperial stout would last nine years on my shelves. Not a chance. Russian imperial barley wine. Belgian doubles, triple squad. First edition of Brewdog Tactical Nuclear Penguin. Where do you live? Yeah, thank you. So Tom's your name, isn't it? Paul oh, said Tom earlier. So Tom's your name. <clears throat> it's always funny when people call me. They call me Raggy. And then and when they call me Billy, it's like, uh, it's like, it's so strange calling you Billy instead of Raggy. And I'm, I'm good with both. And then when you see someone call me Ragster, it's like, oh, you know me from my webmaster. You know me from my uh, webmaster days. Oh, right. Oh. You're doing something naughty. Yeah. Well, if you look at Hop House 13, Hop House 13, Guinness, Rockshaw, you look where it's made at. Um, now I can't read. Jesus Christ. I'm only for now. There we go. <clears throat> St. James's Gate. So, we all know that St. James's Gate is Guinness. So Rockshaw and Hop House 13 are Guinness, a.k.a. Diageo. So Rock House, Rockshaw, what it's been called, has only just come into, um, <laughs> has only just come into St. Uh, Tesco's, hasn't it? So it just makes you wonder. 
Hi, Darren. Yeah, we're looking, Mater. How are you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm using stream, StreamYard tonight, so it looks a bit different on StreamYard. Yeah, I look fucking old. <coughs> Pardon my phone. And to everyone in the background, obviously. Pardon my phone. Loads of experimental stuff to see for ages. Jesus Christ, I need to go up to your AU. You? <clears throat> you got some nice beers on the go. <clears throat> 120 beers in your house. How many's Liam got there? <clears throat> So, the battle of the three beers. Carling's been knocked out. So, all, everyone who loves Carling, sorry, you've been knocked out. So, we've got cause. Taste, this is for the taste, only the taste. The sweetness, the malt, sweet lager malt taste. Bear in mind, Good evening, Steve. See you later, mate. No calling. <laughs> I got to be honest. Now the air has got to Rockshaw. It's bitey. It's interesting. Yes, mate. Your message is working. Your message is working. Yes, I can see your message. Loud and clear. <clears throat> and yeah, yeah, it's definitely worth it. I thought Op House was a decent brew, to be fair. Yeah, I thought Op House was one of the better ones. And the one by Black Sheep Brewery as well. That was a nice beer. Beaver Town Gamma Red. No, I, I can't wait for next week. I can't. I've got a couple of days off next week. I'm going to try some tap rooms, probably. And uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a, a, a nice to have a couple of days off work. I've had no days off work this year, apart from when I got the car smashed into. You must like cheese. <laughs> yeah. You really want to worry when, when YouTube starts showing you pornographic apps because then you know something's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Clear your cookies. <laughs> Black Sheep 57 North. Yes. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Cracking lager. De yeah, very decent from Black Sheep Brewery. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, be very careful when... Um... Galaxy. Ah. So, Angela Peretti. Bloody hell, it's hard. It's, it's really difficult to choose a winner. They're all good in their own way. Carling actually faded quite quickly. Right, here we go again. It's, I tell you what, these battles are tough. Dominoes. Blue Monkey Lager. Do you know, I can't even remember it. <laughs> that probably don't say a lot, does it? Did you ever try the uh, Coconut Mild that they did? Uh, that was immense. Yeah, from Blue Monkey. Oh, Jesus Christ, it was really nice. I thought I'll pass really decent. Uh, the Dominoes. I'm not sure what Dominoes means. No. I mean, when, when I get adverts about for Viagra, I'm thinking, what the fuck are you talking, Viagra? I've got no issues down below. <laughs> yes. Uh, Blue Monkey actually sent me a bottle of, of um, a coconut mild to review, which was really nice of them, and a glass. And uh, I actually, and this is where, and I'm saying this to all beer reviewers, get here, food's here now. Oh, I'll get it. 
that must be my son. My son's obviously uh, tapped on my wife's phone. Um, but yeah, I forgot where I was now. You know, that's, that's proper throwing me off. To all beer reviewers, your local beer, your local breweries, you know, by supporting your local breweries. <laughs> Dear, oh dear. That sounds so wrong, doesn't it? Biagra. But yeah, um, supporting your local breweries and commenting on your local breweries is a good thing because at some stage, there's a, yeah, it was a nice joke. And Slurpee would be proud of that joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, good on you, Paul. Um, by supporting your local breweries, there's a good chance that when they know that you're a beer reviewer, that you might get something, you know, something for free, something sent. And it's good. Not only is it good, but you're supporting local as well. And that's what really matters. Right, I need to crack on because apparently my food's here. Good on you, Craig. I do the same in Nottingham. Support local. Try and do a local. When I do beer reviews, try and do one local each night. Just to, just to keep supporting the locals. Especially when they make nice beer as well. Always helps. Yeah, Pfizer. Yeah, Pfizer. Apparently that's um, the mark. That's uh, an offshoot. That's that's um, the, the Pfizer vaccine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's why you get 15 minutes before you can walk out. Anyway. So, taste now. <laughs> okay. From a taste point of view, I'm afraid Rockshaw's beating. Cause is now out. Good evening, Thomas. How are you, mate? The Pinter, yes, we're doing Pinter beer review soon. Oh. So it's Rockshaw versus Peretti. I've just finished off the, um, whatever it was called, Rockshaw. Does the Indian variant give you a bit of a curry shot? Might be worth taking. The winner, the winner, you're not going to believe this, but on the taste, Rockshaw, and I'm not joking, Rockshaw has beaten Carling, Cause, and Peretti. No joke, hour and a half, that is ridiculous. It's also beaten my own room as well. Shit. <clears throat> so, Rockshaw is the winner of the challenge. How the hell did Rockshaw be the winner? I want to bought it. And this is where these getting three or four different um, good evening on the brew dog. Well played. She's still in a coma. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Slope is happy at that. He, he, he recognised that was a good one. Uh, no, mate, not for me. All four. And this is where it's really interesting. As a beer reviewer, putting one against the other is interesting because. Yeah, Cause beat Carling. Rockshaw's the champ. Rockshaw. Uh, Angelo Peretti, Cause, and then Carling. And then my own group. Yeah, it sadly failed. It was in last. Good evening, Miss Hophouse. So the winner is Hophouse. Uh, Rockshaw. I've had a drink. And apparently, my dinner's up the house. So 
Thank you, everyone, for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. It's been a great night. The first of the real raggy tap rooms. <laughs> Maybe. It's been a great night. And for those in the background, Friday night, we will continue this with a battle of the smooth ales. Tetley's versus John Smith's versus Caffrey's. And maybe the odd one in between, maybe a, 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 an own group as well. Yeah, I know. Now, you drink five lagers, go pissed. <clears throat> and then you do a wee wee so badly. I need, I really need to wait. Thank you, everyone. And it's been a great night. You know, it's uh, this is what beer reviewing is all about community, interaction, good people in the background, you know. It's what it's all about, a virtual pub experience. We can't all go to a pub every night. A lot of us work. A lot of us can't afford it. And, you know, having a chat having a chat with some great people online. Worthington's. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Rockshaw, the winner. Even I didn't see that one coming. I thought it'd be Cause or Peretti. Just goes to show you, you never know. Boddington, Boddington, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I can get it, yeah, um, I will try. And that's it for tonight. Thank you, everyone. And uh, up the house, I've got a, a meal waiting for me, apparently. Don't know what. And uh, it's come late. I tend to believe 20 to 9. Cheers, all. And uh, see you later. And uh, I'm sober up now. Steaming. Cheers, everyone. Right. And I need a wee wee. Badly. <laughs>